What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again. Let's go ahead and talk about this extraction too. Now, let's go ahead and get on to it, man. Just uh, I watched this mug uh, last night. You know, me and my girl was watching this last night. Uh, she pretty much fell asleep though, but I stayed up the whole way and started watching this mug. I gotta say, man, this uh, second sequel, uh, Extraction, you know, it was pretty dope. <clears throat> it's a little bit different from the first one. I still love the first one. I still love the first one. I mean, I watched the first one at least about like five times already. Or four, yeah, four or five times already. So, it was good. It was good. So, I, you know, you know I had to watch, you know, the second one too that was coming out uh, yesterday. You know, so, yeah. Finally, had to check it out, man. Um, I just gotta say, you know what I'm saying? Good job as always. Chris Hemsworth, you know what I'm saying? Betraying his character, you know, the soldier character named Tyler, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> still doing his thing. I mean, still doing his damn thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just, I mean, just straight up just beast mode um, people in this movie like crazy. You know, it's insane. But, um, this movie was good. It was pretty good, man. Um, the story's a lot more different. I mean, you know, the story was okay, I guess. But, you know, I mean, pretty much he's, he's, on, he's on another mission, another rescue mission. You know what I'm saying? He had to rescue his, uh, what's it called, um, his ex-wife's sister. You know, the kids that locked up in the prison that she, uh, that they're, you know, that, that the kids' fathers you know, forced them in there to stay in the prison and everything. And, you know, and of course, you know, Chris Hemsworth, Tyler, the char character, you know, had to have to go ahead and, you know, save them, get them out of that prison and everything, to go ahead and get them out of there and, you know, take them to a safe spot where they can just leave up out of that life, you know what I'm saying, trying to get them out of that lifestyle. So that's pretty much how the story goes, pretty much. Because, you know, we really get to dive in, you know, more of his backstory. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, when you, you know, in the first one you had glimpses about, you know, losing a child and everything and all that stuff. So, you know, it's, it goes it goes further on when you watch the second one, this one, uh, Extraction 2. So, like I said, the story was okay, you know. Like I said, it's just another rescue mission as it is. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this this movie was straight up action packed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was just like the fighting scene was just insane. You know, it's it's really insane. You know, so much gore. You know, all this craziness, all this action and craziness pack they got going on. You know, it's it's insane. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this movie. A lot. And uh, yeah, Chris Hemsworth. You know what I'm saying? He take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? When he be, you know, destroying these people in this movie. <laughs> he takes it up to a whole nother level, man. But, um, yeah. And the villain in the movie is pretty cool, though. I mean, he's very vicious, though. You know? I mean, a lot more different than the, vil than the villain in the first one. You know what I'm saying? Because the first one was just crazy how the villain was in that one. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, um... It's like I said, it's a two hour it's a two hour film. You know, it's on Netflix, it's still on Netflix, so feel, so feel free to check it out. Like I said, this movie was pretty good. You know, it, it did not bore me at all, you know what I'm saying? I mean I I'm I, I am gonna watch it again because it's on Netflix, you know what I'm saying? So most definitely because I watched the first one like four or five times and I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing with the second one, so I'm down to you know, watch this again. So yeah. It was pretty cool, man, it was pretty cool. Uh, my rating for it, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten, man. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. You know, um, uh, can't find anything else I want to talk about though. But that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, this is like a non-spoiler review, anyway. So I wasn't trying to spoil anything, but you know, I was just telling how the how the story is and all that. But you know, like I said, you know, good job as always, Chris Hen uh, Chris Hensworth. You know, what I'm saying keep doing your thing. I mean, he plays his character a lot better than he ever played in Thor. Because <laughs> I still did not like that last Thor, man. I, I did not like that at all. 
And I heard that he, you know, he was kind of just fed up with it, you know what I'm saying, with that last move because, yeah, I mean, I even heard the news that his own, his own children, his own childhood, I mean, his own child friend talking major trash about it, you know what I'm saying, with the Thor Love and Thunder. And I was just like, damn, even the kid even knows it. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. But I do like him better playing that um, action-packed character, you know what I'm saying, like an action hero character. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 tr he's trying to get to that level with Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Sylvester Stallone, Jet Li, and all them. You know what I'm saying? The old the the old school. You know, like Rambo and all that. You know, he he's trying to be up to that level. You know what I'm saying? Back in those days, you know, he trying he trying to keep up with them. So I see where he's I see where he's going with that. So I can see it, man. Keep doing your thing, man. I, I hope they come out with a third one, so, because at the end, it's just going to be, you know, well, I don't want to spoil the end, but, you know, you'll see when you watch it. <laughs> but anyways, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Did you ever watch, the, did you watch the Distraction 2? Did you love it? Did you love the first one? You think the first one better than the second one? Do you think the second one better than the first one? Y'all let me know, man. Discuss them all down in the comments section below. Let me know what y'all think about it, man. And um, if you enjoy my review, make sure you hit that like button, and always subscribe it and share it, and I'm catch you guys later. Deuces!